Dear students, now we can do an experiment that is double clipper. That means the positive side and negative side is clipped at a particular voltage. Let us take that voltage as plus 3 volt and minus 3 volt. So, here we have to clip the sine wave, input a sine wave at a plus 3 volt and minus 3 volt. That means we need two DC sources. Okay. Here is the connection. This is the input voltage source and it is input voltage level is 10 volt peak to peak 1 kilohertz. For getting this input we are using a function generator. Then there is a diode that is a plus minus connection diode that is this is a positive clipper circuit clipping at 3 volt and then there is another diode which is connected to negative positive negative positive that means it is a negative clipper clipping at minus 3 volt. Okay. So, these connections are parallel. Okay. Before that there is a mistake actually here we need a resistance. Okay. This resistance value is 3.3 .3 kilo ohm. We need a resistance 3.3 kilo ohm here. Okay. So, let us do the connection first. What we need is first resistance is 3 kilo ohm that is connected here. From the resistance part two diodes will be coming. You can see here that this resistance and diodes are connected at the same point. Okay. First diode is positive negative diode that is the part of a positive clipper and second diode is negative positive connected that is negative ring is connected to this point. Okay. So, notice that one of the diode is connected to the resistor and its positive terminal is connected and the other diode's negative terminal is connected to the resistor. And the other leg of the diode is connected at some other point. Similarly, for this negative diode, negative positive diode also, its connection is to some other point. Okay. And from this positive negative diode, we have to give a positive voltage, positive 3 volt. So, we are taking this DC source for giving supply of 3 volt to one of the diode. And we have another DC source. And from that we are giving 3 volt to other diode. Okay. Here it is taken as a negative 3 volt supply and this is taken as a positive 3 volt supply. Actually there is no difference between these two but the connection is different. See here this positive negative, this diode is positive negative and so the supply here will be positive negative. So positive of that DC source is connected at the same point. You can see here that these are the same points and its negative terminal is connected to the ground. Okay. And again here is a neg negative positive connection of this diode and here DC voltage is given as negative voltage. So this is the black one. So negative is connected here and its ground is given to this terminal. And we have given the input from this function generator. You can see that that is already set. Input is 1 kilohertz 10 volt peak to peak. That is given uh, to the input side. That is input is given to one of the resistor lug and ground is given to this point. And for seeing the input, we can use the channel 2 of the CRO. So, channel 2 will give you the input. And also the output is taken across the parallel combination of this diode. That means one of the leg is connected here. So, one of the output point is connected here, probe connected here and its ground is connected at this, this point. Okay. So, this is the way we are doing connections and we can switch on the uh, supply and uh, we can obtain the output waveform. You can see here the output waveform is obtained. In order to, in order to see the output uh, input also we can press the mono button. So, when we are pressing mono button input also coming, you can see here. So, you can see this is the input side. So, we can move it like this and the input you can see that is complete sine wave is obtained for the input and for the output you can see this is the output channel. You can see positive and negative part of the output is clipped. Let us see. Let us ground both and we can set the ground as the same point. Now you can see here that this voltage is, this is the ground voltage, this input voltage is 5 volt, you can see this is 5 volt and where the input cycle is, positive cycle is clipped is this point. Actually that point is, this is complete 1 division 1 and this is, let us see, 1 is 1 1.2, 1 1.2. 4, 1.6 and 1.8. So, this is together positive cycle is 1.8 into 
2 that is equal to 3.6 that is positive cycle is clipped at 3.6 similarly negative cycle is clipped at 3.6 so actually this is a double clipper or slicer that clips both the positive and negative cycle so you can draw the waveform on the notebook you can see this is the input waveform and output waveform is clipped at what voltage it is clipped at the point 3.6 okay so you can mark it as 3.6 volt at the positive side and here you can mark minus 3.6 volt okay so this is the double clipper or slicer so sometimes in the examination you will be asked with another voltage that is suppose positive clipper clipping at plus 4 and minus 4 so you have to select the value of this dc voltage as 4 okay so like the way you have to design different circuits okay now let us see the transfer curve corresponding to this slicer or double clipper for that what we have to do first of all we have to ground input and output okay then we have to press x y okay so that dot will be coming and you have to adjust this x y position that is we are adjusting it to the central point then we can release the ground first this input then output so this is the transfer curve you can see that this is input voltage and this is output voltage whenever input voltage is increasing output voltage is also increasing that is why this is a curve like ramp next after a particular point whenever the input voltage is increasing there is no change in the output voltage that means the output voltage is constant at a particular voltage and that voltage is 3.6 volt similarly in the negative case also the output voltage is increasing up to 3.6 voltage then output voltage is constant that means in the positive and negative side the output voltage will be clipped off okay so this is the transfer curve corresponding to a double clipper sorry a slicer or double clipper it is also called a double clipper because it contains both positive and negative clipper so this is minus 3.6 volt and this is plus 3.6 volt this is v in and this is v out okay so this is the way we are getting the transfer curve um, characteristics bear in mind that for taking the reading you have to press dc okay you notice that here dc is pressed this is the pressed symbol this is the released symbol so for pressing press this symbol and this also press for doing diode uh, rectifier circuit like that you have to press this dc so then only you will get the correct reading because we have to take the reading that uh, we have to know the exact point where the waveform is clipped off okay so for getting the correct reading bear in mind that you have to press this dc knob okay that's all about this double clipper or slicer okay